Alrighty, how's it going? Today we're gonna go over how to draw kind of dinosaur related. It is a prehistoric fish called Dunkleosteus. Very, very cool kind of armored fish. Let's draw it together. Uh, let me turn the paper this way actually, and uh, that's it. So it's gonna be easy. We're gonna take. I'm gonna take you through it. So stay till the end so you learn it and you know how to draw it. Okay? If you're like a prehistoric person, uh, you're gonna love this. So, sorry if my voice is weird. I'm sick. Line out over here for the top of the head. <laughs> so like in uh, drawing stuff, like curve over here at the front, in drawing stuff, see right there, kind of short, kind of curved. In drawing stuff like dinosaurs, uh, people come across stuff like, you know, that things are not dinosaurs, but people think they are, you know, like, um, I'm going to curve in just a bit right there. Things like pterodactyls, which are not dinosaurs technically, curve around here. But I mean, people know them as dinosaurs, right? They're basically flying rep ancient reptiles, uh, flying prehistoric reptiles. Curve for kind of that mouth opening up. Um, and, you know, things like the plesiosaur, that wasn't a dinosaur, it was like a reptile in the ocean, right? Curve down over here for the cheek. He's got this kind of built-in structure over here. Curve up. Right on. <clears throat> He's got really cool armor. If you don't know what this guy looks like in, uh, through fossils, curve right here. And his eye's gonna be over here, okay? He's gonna be swimming that way. Then uh, check out the fossil stuff. It's really amazing. Cur line over there, kind of above the eye. Circle, kind of a beady eye in that area. And I'm gonna draw a line back, right there, like it's squinting a little bit. Line over here, right there. Kind of, it would kind of tie into that rhythm right there. We're not gonna connect it, but it's close. Don't forget. If you like dinosaurs, prehistoric animals, and how to draw them, want to learn how to draw them. Number one, hit the like, you know, it's going to let me know what to draw more of. Number two, hit the playlist in the description. I put playlists on dinosaurs, realistic, and cartoony, um, so go take a look at that. And number three, hit the subscribe if you like that kind of stuff, okay? Because I'm going to put a lot of it. I'm a huge, huge fan of that stuff. So now we're going to go over here. We're going to draw the teeth. He's got this gigantic kind of fang things or whatever. It's kind of like in the front. It looks like fake teeth, like vampire teeth. There's a line up there, line in the middle, down over here, up. Kind of reminds me of fake vampire teeth that you buy at the store. Line over here, more of a big triangle. <clears throat> right on. Let's go over here for the bottom portion of the mouth line here. Curve down. Up. And you got that lower lip right there, okay? Small curve right here, small curve like a scoop for the chin. Now we're gonna pull back right there for kind of the lower jaw. Okay, hopefully you're with me so far. Line over here just a little bit for kind of the neck area. And now we're gonna go into kind of the next part. It's like segmented armor, right? So over here on the side, curve like straight line over here. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, like I said, I'm sick, forgive me. I've been sick all week. Line right there, it's kind of like the space between the armor we're drawing right there. And now I'm gonna go over here and continue along the back, okay? And now I'm gonna start, this is like the peak right there. I'm gonna start receding down, because he's kind of coming at us a little bit. And I'm gonna draw all the way to the end of the paper, pretty close to that, at a point. Like a soft point. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna pull in for kind of the bottom. Before we do anything else, I'm gonna draw like one of his fins over here. Curve. Over here. Curve. Line down. Curve up. There for one of his fins. Curve right here to kind of attach it to the body, right? And I'm gonna draw a line underneath here so you get the bottom of him. I'm gonna go follow this. This is called like, this is a very important thing in drawing. So if I'm drawing a line this way, I want to imagine it going through and then finding the other side. What the mistake people make, this is a very common mistake, so pay attention. Sometimes people draw a line right here. If there's a body part in the way, they're gonna continue it over here, right? They're gonna, it's not gonna make any sense. You know, it's called a rhythm line. Where you want to make it make sense okay if you do that in all your drawing you're gonna be amazing it's gonna fix so much trust me 
I'm gonna go over here, and I'm gonna just slightly, like a slight curve to kind of connect that. Like I said, if you're really concerned about drawing in general and you want to upgrade all of your drawings on every topic, go check out Skillshare. That's where I put like hour, two hour, three hour um, tutorials on one thing in depth. These are great tutorials on this channel, of course, uh, but if you really want to go into the anatomy of like humans and uh, perspective and like cartoons and how to use the pen specifically, if you want to really dive in and really upgrade everything about it, about your skill, so that you go out there and you can draw whatever you want uh, much quicker, and actually these tutorials will be much easier when you do that, go to that Skillshare link in the description, okay? Um, I think you get free, uh, I think you get like a free month if you click on that link, if you're one of the first people that clicks on that link. Move down over here for the other fin, curve out, down. Gonna go over here for the other side of the fin, see so way at the edge of the tail, pull in, up. We're gonna go over here, to the, there's a fin kind of in the back right here as well. Okay, so curve over here, up a bit. And down gradually right there. You know, not quite a shark fin. <clears throat> so let's draw some more bumpiness to this armor that he has. So maybe right here we can draw a line across right here. And you might want to draw that thinner because it's going to give it some um, more of a sense of detail. Maybe a line right here. A line over here underneath. And now we're going to draw the other teeth. Okay, so down here triangle for the teeth below right that curve same thing over here for the back row of teeth right we're looking in his mouth and then we're gonna draw a line up and then we're gonna fill it out Over here, fill it out. Go over here as well, kind of in a front line, kind of there's a fold over here, which is kind of half armor, half fold. And that line, it can be anything. It can be a little statter, ladder stair step. I can throw a little bit of a darker line around the eye to focus on that because that could be very big and the rest of it is up to you the rest of this stuff is detail so you can draw like a thin line maybe around this area like try to do thinner lines with detail maybe right here some thin lines underneath as wrinkles under the neck you can draw a thin line here to show maybe see very thin and just like along the edge to kind of show a little bit of texture right to show some sort of uh, texture but remember if you do it thinner than the other lines around it, it's going to come off like detail. So same thing over here with the fin. Let's put little thin lines right there. If you if you can't draw thin lines, hold hold the, the marker back if you're using a marker. A little bit more back so you're not putting so much weight because that's literally what it's based on. I want to thank you very much. Do not forget if you like drawing ancient animals. Absolutely. Um, <clears throat> let's go over here too. draw some curves. I want to draw a little more detail here. If you like drawing ancient animals, so I'm just kind of putting them wherever. Just kind of following the form and imagining kind of where that would be. If you like drawing ancient animals, dinosaurs, anything like that, do not forget to subscribe. Also, I have a book. I have a coloring book. If you, you basically made your own coloring book right now, like a page. Um, if you like coloring books, uh, I do a coloring book that I put on Amazon. Um, a lot of it's suggested by you guys. I put it on Amazon. So go check out that first link in the description. Um, there's also a cool, uh, you know, uh, how to draw cute, <laughs> not that this is very cute, but how to draw a cute ebook that's also in the description. Go take a look at that. Um, there's lots of cool resources, like I said. Uh, as far as the coloring books, I put one coloring book per uh, week. I put a new one every week. There's soccer ones on there, there's uh, climbing, I'm doing mostly sport animals, stuff like that, cat, cat climbers, um, pizza cats, sushi cats. Uh, I have one dinosaur one. I'm going to go and, and do a lot more dinosaur ones. So thank you so much. See you in the next video. Say hi to me in the comments section if you made it this far, and I will know it.